how to maximize your relationship with your game master. Hey y'all, welcome to How to Be a Better RPG Player on Saving Throw Show. I'm Amy Vorpal, and I've got six tips you can use to build the best possible relationship with your game master. Oh boy! Communicate. Keep an open line of communication with your GM. He is probably living and breathing the world he's built and he will appreciate it that you're invested in it too. Criticism. Criticism and ways to improve are a healthy part of a game mastering diet. That being said, I guarantee your game master has worked her butt off to provide you the game you played, so my recommendation is to appreciate creative sensitivities and couple your criticism with compliments. Specific items for communication. Here are some specific items you should feel comfortable sharing with your game master. How you would like to introduce your character to the game or party. A few key character traits you hope to use and ideally how that'll look in game for you. Your backstory. Any concerns about the game overall, including worries about your character or playing them or overlapping characters or even other players at the table. Look, from the bottom of my heart, I hope there are never interplayer issues, but we live in an imperfect world. Anyway, a heads up and being clear about expectations can only help. Also, share your preference for combat versus roleplay. If you're planning a big moment, your GM will want to know so they can help prep for it and help you have the impact you're hoping it will. That benefit of the doubt. Give your game master the benefit of the doubt. Trust that they have done their best to build a game for everyone to have fun and some cool moments. No is okay. Allow the GM to tell you no sometimes. Same coin, different side. You can say no too. The GM is still the big cheese, but there are instances where you can stand up for yourself. Like if she tries to control your character or change the world inexplicably to put your character in a very unfavorable position. The instances are rare, few and far between, but just know that no is an option. Here are some bonus points. Tell your GM I'm excited before you start playing and thank you when you're finished. And now it's time for a play a shout out. I wanna highlight a player who puts their game master at the top of their priority list in games. So check out Dom Zook on the show Wild Cards. You can find them on social media at Gadzook. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to know what you think. What else can you do to maximize the relationship with your game master? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, feel free to ask questions. Remember to like, subscribe, and go nuts on that little bell for notifications when we drop new videos. Ooh, I can't wait for next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.